Welcome to the sale of this 2006 06 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S Cabriolet in stunning GT Silver. Let me walk you around the car. Starting off at the front quarter. So a little bit of chipping on the front quarter. A few light marks. A little section here where the lacquer looks like it's just been peeling off. The rest of the wing all looks good. And onto the wheel. So wheel, all in very good condition. Wheel centre just starting to corrode slightly, and the tyres. It's a good five millimetres on those tyres. A little bit of paint wear on the edge of the sill on here, which is very common. Coming onto the door and the mirror housing. Again, slight scratch on the mirror housing. Nothing too major. Coming down onto the rest of the door. Again, a few chips, nothing too major on there. And the glass, all absolutely fine. On the edge of the driver's door, quite a few chips on the edge of the driver's door and going just onto the rear wing, so that would need some attention. And again, on the rear of the sill, the paint just starting to chip and wear on the rear of the sill. Onto the rear quarter. So, again, minor chipping, nothing too major. And down onto the wheel. Wheel all in good condition, a little bit of damage and chipping on the side here. Again, wheel centre corroded, and the tyre, good four to five millimetres on that tyre. Coming around to the rear bumper. Yeah, in all in decent condition, a few tiny little marks as you'd expect. Onto the rear spoiler. Okay. All in good condition. A little bit of scuffing below the light on here. And onto the rear wing. Rear wing, again on the edge of a sill, paint starting to wear. Some light scratches just here, looks like it's been brushed past a uh, bush or something like that. This rear wheel definitely needs a refurb, some quite heavy curbing to the wheel. Again, wheel centre corroded as well. The tyres, same as the others, a good sort of four to five millimetres on there. to the passenger door. So no major issues with the passenger door at all. All in good condition. A few tiny little marks, that looks like it would polish out. That looks like it's uh, more, more tar than anything else on there. Mirror housing, all in good condition. Going up to the passenger front wing. Again, chipping on the front wing. So apart from a few minor chips, nothing too serious on there. Down onto the wheel. Now, wheel's in good condition. One of the strange things is this wheel looks like it's finished in standard silver, whereas the other three wheels have been painted in GT silver to match the body. So. Uh, that would need either all four doing the same colour or uh, that one doing in the GT silver to match the others. And this tyre, I'd say is about, about three millimetres, three and a half millimetres on the tyre. Coming down onto the front bumper, some scuffing and lines on the front bumper. Slight chipping on the glass on the lights, a bit major. Again, the front bumper definitely needs some attention. There's quite a few, quite a few scuffs and chips. The front bumper has definitely been painted at some point also. Bits of damage down on here. Again, very peppered on the front. So 
as I mentioned, front bumper has definitely had some paint at some point, as so has the bonnet. Colour match. I would say the bumper looks more like the Arctic Silver than the GT Silver. So slight uh, difference in the colour. So I say may, uh, may benefit from a front end paint. On the front wing here, again, some damage where the lacquer started peeling off. And the bonnet, all your general chips to the bonnet. No major damage, but quite peppered with chips. Coming up to the screen. Again, a few minor chips on the screen. No cracking. A few of them probably would benefit from having a uh, screen repair or repair to the chips, but nothing that's uh, so nothing too large to repair. Down to the inside of the car. So, seals all good. The seats, as for the mileage, the car has done 80 to just over 83,000 miles. So, as you would expect, the seat is showing a few signs of wear. Quite a bit of cracking on the side of the seats. Again, where the seat belt has been touching against the rear quarter panel there. Could uh, definitely do a repair. Rear seats themselves are in, say, excellent condition. I don't, uh, don't really look like they've been used at all. Sit inside the car, so massive spec this car. It's got the Sport Chrono Pack Bose sound system. So, all in good condition. As I mentioned, 83,000 miles. There are signs of wear on the seats. A little bit on the door cards as well. But, uh, nothing that you wouldn't expect for that sort of mileage. Put the ignition on. Aircon screen. So, aircon screen display is just missing a few bars. On here, everything else seems to work okay. S missing a couple of bars on the bottom of the uh, C on the temperature reading. Navigation system, phone system, all works absolutely fine on there. So, if I start the car up. Close the door. So, there's no warning lights on the dash, obviously apart from the seatbelt warning light. Now, the exhaust does sound like the exhaust is blowing. So I'll just drop that off. So, quite a common thing on the 911s, the uh, exhaust manifold bolts start to corrode and the exhaust does blow, so that's something to bear in mind that will need some attention. We've got all the service books, service records with the car. The car's been serviced at two Porsche centres for its first two services and then at a Porsche Specialist Pro 9 for the last two. The last service was carried out in January 2014 at 68,000 miles. So we're looking 88,000 miles for the next service or January 2016. V5 and MOT. The car comes with one key and also one Porsche tracking fob. So we have no idea of knowing if the Porsche tracking system is working, but uh, it does come with a fob and a one key. Car's also got electric memory seats. As I said, very big spec. I'll put the roof up. So roof operation works all absolutely perfect. Windows all go up and into place. And the roof could do with a clean up, probably a, a roof treatment, but uh, say no tears, no rips, all in generally good condition. So there we go, 
stunning wide-bodied 911 Carrera 4S Cabriolet. Happy bidding.